Tesla recently announced that they applied for a patent for a steer by wire system. So in today's video, we're gonna talk a little bit about what that is, what that means for Tesla, some of the pros and cons, and my thoughts about the whole thing. So what is a steer by wire system? Well, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a steering wheel with a wire that connects to an electric motor that helps turn the car. What we're all used to driving is a mechanical linkage that attaches the steering column down to a rack and pinion to help turn the car. It's important to note that Tesla did not invent this technology. They are not the first coming out with a steer by wire system. There are other cars that have this. The first car that I'm aware of that came out with this was over a decade ago. It was actually an Infiniti, I believe the Q50, and I think now the Q60 also has steer by wire. Now what sets the Infiniti system apart from all the others is that they still have a mechanical linkage as a backup. It's important to note that if you are going to have a steer by wire system, NHTSA requires that you have a redundant backup system. It doesn't have to be a mechanical linkage. It could be a redundant steer by wire system, just have two different wires with two different motors and power supplies and all the other actuators involved. But Infinity actually has a mechanical linkage as their backup and the primary is the steer by wire. All the other cars that I'm aware of that have steer by wire are a pure steer by wire system. There is no mechanical linkage uh, as a backup. I know that the Lexus RZ450E has a steer by wire system. It also has a yoke steering wheel. I've actually been in this vehicle before and it's actually a really nice vehicle. Not too thrilled with the range, but the yoke steering wheel in that car did feel really nice. The other cars that also have the steer by wire are on the same platform basically as that Lexus. So we're talking about the Toyota EV, the, the BZ4X and the Subaru Solterra as well. And if you've ever seen any all-wheel drive vehicles that have rear wheel steering, such as the Hummer EV, that is a steer by wire system as well. And if you're a lover of EVs, then you've probably also seen online a startup company called Canoe that has steer by wire. This one is pretty awesome because they can sit the driver pretty much anywhere over the wheels, and not have to worry about a steering rack getting in the way. They could just have wires to it and it really improves visibility in that vehicle. So there must be some advantages to a steer by wire system or why else would Tesla be interested in this? So there are actually many reasons why Tesla would be interested in steer by wire. So let's just kind of go through a couple of these. And if you have any to add to the list, go ahead and comment below. First thing that comes to mind is that Tesla has an affinity for yoke steering wheels. As you can see, I've got a yoke steering wheel in my Model 3. I actually installed this when a company sent this to me for review and I had full intention to install it, review it, and then swap it back out with my round steering wheel. But what I didn't count on was me falling in love with this thing. I really enjoy the way it feels, the way the car drives, the way it handles. Everything about it, I just love. That being said, there is one downfall about having a yoke steering wheel on a mechanical linkage car. And that is the fact that you do have to turn it several times here, a full 360 to hit full lock. And that can be a bit tricky if you are trying to do that quick um, it, you know, I'm not drifting the car where I'm having to spin the wheel several times. It's nothing really bad. It's just, if you're at a slow speed and you need to make a U-turn or you're trying to get in and out of a parking spot, you may be doing this and kind of fumbling with the wheel a bit. So that is the, the main problem with a mechanical linkage on a yoke. But the beauty of a steer by wire system is that you can control electronically the ratio of the steering. And that means if you want to go full lock, instead of having to do all this, all you would have to do is maybe go this far and that will turn it all the way. 
And it's usually variable as well. So it kind of depends on the speed of the car. So if you're at a slow speed, it may be more intense where this is full lock. Whereas if you're going at a high speed, it's not gonna go all crazy and turn really sharp when you turn it like that. But you will just be, you know, making turns. You will only have to turn short distances like this. Another advantage of steer by wire is you can really put the steering wheel anywhere you want in the car because there is no physical connection. It's just running wires. So that means you can make the car a left-hand drive, a right-hand drive, you could even put the steering wheel in the back seat if you really wanted to. Second thought, don't do that. And another advantage would be weight reduction, bruh. No more heavy mechanical linkage, steering column, all the equipment that you need for that. It's just running wires with some actuators and electric motor. Tesla may also want a steer-by-wire system to help with autonomy with its robo-taxi and full self-driving. Just might make it easier to steer the vehicle without all this mechanical stuff involved because it's controlled by the computer. And if you really pay attention to some of the things Elon talks about, he mentions in the future not even having a steering wheel. So if that's what his goal is, he's trying to minimize driver input by doing away with the driver, having the car drive itself. You won't even need a steering wheel so therefore no mechanical linkage, none of that stuff. You just have the computer do all the work. Steer by wire also has some disadvantages to it. One of them being cost. Right now cost is high just because it's not a very common system in vehicles. And so it's just cheaper to put, you know, a mechanical linkage off the shelf into a new vehicle and call it a day. And just like all technology, those prices will eventually come down to where I think it'll even be more affordable than a mechanical linkage. Another disadvantage and probably the biggest one for me personally is going to be the lack of steering feedback. What I mean by that is as it currently sits with the mechanical linkage, you can feel vibrations in the steering wheel as you go over different surfaces. With a steer-by-wire system, you don't feel that because there is no physical connection from your steering wheel to the wheels. It's just an electronic cable. It's going to feel a bit more sterile, almost like playing a video game. I guess the manufacturers could give some sort of artificial feedback, but that's just not the same. In regards to Tesla, if their end game is to totally remove the steering wheel and have the car drive itself around, you're not going to worry about physical feedback from a steering wheel. It's not even going to matter to you. But if you are a driving enthusiast and you want a sporty type of car and you enjoy driving, then all these things are important to you. It's my personal opinion that Tesla should not have a steer-by-wire system in the Roadster because I think the Tesla Roadster should be a driver's car. Trust me, nobody wants to be driven around chauffeur style in a Tesla Roadster. You want to get that thing on the road and you want to rip it. So Elon, if you're watching this, my guy, do not put steer by wire in the Tesla Roadster. So Tesla hasn't announced yet which vehicle is going to get steer by wire or when that's going to be released. There is some speculation that it might show up in the new refreshed Model 3, codename Highland. Uh, they're saying it's possible it could show up in the Cybertruck or maybe some other vehicle in the far off future. Who knows? So I know you guys have opinions about this. Go ahead and put them in the comments below. So that's all my thoughts for right now about steer by wire. What do you guys think? If you like this video, let me know by hitting that thumbs up. Please consider subscribing. I've got a lot more content coming. I'll see you guys in the near future. Take care. Bye.